everyone, my name is Birdbrain and today we are talking about rigging! So there's many ways to rig limbs. And on easier rig, you can simply have both of the limbs layered in your rig and name them like F and B and stuff. As already stated in this previous video that I will link in the description below. But today I'm teaching you a neat and advanced trick that will allow you to copy paste animation from one arm to the other, just like that. Whoa, so neat! So in this setup, we'll be using groups as well as cloning and duplicating concepts. So make sure you know that in advance so that you're not watching these videos wondering what's going on with the world. For duplicating and cloning concepts, you can watch these videos. And for the groups, I will just link the documentations and you can go read it. So why group limbs? As much as I hate to have groups in my rig, cloned limbs are pretty darn cool. You can use those on arm, legs, eyes, and more. They also allow you to share drawing substitutions between the limbs. So if I go here and I make a new hand drawing, and I go into the drawing substitutions of my other hand, it will also be available, which is pretty cool. And it makes for some swift rig edits. So if I go in my node view, in this arm, if I say like, oh, well, this deformer is not right. Instead of having a curve like that, I would like it to be um, something more like this and then change these pivot points. And then when I'm done, all I need to do is exit the group, take that group, I go here and I clone the drawings layer only. I do this and this, and then since I'm a good person, <laughs> I will rename it the right way. So instead of being the front arm, this is the back arm. And that's it. So then my other arm will also have the same deformer. Pretty cool, right? But like everything else, just try not to abuse and put it everywhere in your rig. Because then it's not a good idea because it's heavy, it's complicated, there's gross everywhere, it's ugly, don't. All you need to do is ask yourself, how many times will I actually need to copy paste information from one side to the other? If the answer is not so often, then don't do it, because it's stupid. So the less digging into groups, the easiest it is to navigate around your rig. So like I said, arm and legs, maybe eyes, and that's mostly it. So how does it work? Since everything in the group has the same name as everything in the other group, this is why you can actually paste stuff from one to the other, which is pretty cool if you want to animate fast. Additionally, since we use the command clone drawings only when we make the copy, it means that the timing is not linked because if you just copy paste your group and you change one side, they will be linked at the same time, which is not exactly what we want. So we want the drawings to be the same, but not the timing. So that's why we do the other thing I've shown. But there's another thing here. What is this? So this is what we're gonna learn when I teach you how to do it in a second. Okay, let's do this. So first, what you need is a complete arm. If you want to use this technique, you should already know how to rig an arm. So I'm gonna keep that for later. So all you need is to take your arm and then you group it. This is also a good moment to make sure that everything is on separate and all your drawing layers can be animated and stuff. And then you group it like this, you rename it. This is going to be my front arm group. And then I will put a peg on it and that peg will be the same pivot point as my top arm peg. I can copy paste them because I know that there's no animation on them. Otherwise you don't copy paste peg ever. It's evil, it's gonna make your rig burn and you will cry like that. And this peg will only be used to move your arm around when you do your rotation, if it's a 360 rig, because all the animations you will need to do it in here. And this is kind of the only double peg I usually allow in my rigs, because then you move up, you just stop here, and then when you do another peg, this is when you will exit the group. And then all you need to do is take that arm, and like I said, you don't copy paste it. What you need to do is click, go here, in nodes, and what you want to select is Clone selected nodes, drawings only. This is because we don't want the timing to be linked. You do this, so you make a new copy here. Like the other one, you go get the shoulder peg and you copy paste it outside. So then you have these two pegs. So this one, of course, I will rename it as my front arm translate peg so that I make sure to not animate. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. It'll be my back arm translate peg. Right? But the problem is that now these arms are the same. So if I put them on inside my rig, um, they are exactly on top of the other, unless I move it. And if I reset my arm, I don't want it to go back here. So what I need to do is use another node that is called the static transform. It's a constraint node, it's green, so we know it goes on top. And the static transformation, what it's gonna do, is it's like a peg in which you set a value, but you will never be able to move that peg ever. So I'm gonna put it here, and then all I have to do is take a peg, connect it on top, and this peg, I will not move the pivot point, I will only use it to flip my arm. So I'm gonna go here, and I press on four, with my transform tool active, 
and it's going to flip my arm to the other side. This is because my pivot point is in the center of the universe. And then you go to the static transforms, you press here, you bake immediate current transformation so that it's going to use this peg's information. It's going to fill it out. And then if you get rid of that peg, it's going to do this. So the reason why it went back to its place is because this peg was telling it to flip and this one as well. So then if you get rid of this one, it works. And then that's it. You have these static transforms that will forever make your arm flip even if you reset it. You have these two pegs which are the translate peg that you're going to use if you make your rig rotate on itself. But all the animations that you do inside the group, you'll be able to copy paste it from one group to the other. Note that though if you click on the B to go up the hierarchy when you press O, if you want to copy, sometimes it will be open, so you will only copy the active peg that you have, so it will not put, so it will not take everything. So if you do that and you press O, make sure that your peg is collapsed when you click on it, so that when you put it inside the other group, and you press B, you also make sure that it's collapsed. Uh, sometimes this is why when you, you try to do it, it doesn't work. It might be because your pegs are not collapsed. Alright, and um, that's it. So that's how you do a cloned arm or a cloned leg or a cloned anything and this is easy if you had like auto patch going in and out and stuff this is not as easy but it will be for another video because today it's over so have a nice week and see you again next time <laughs>